Have you ever noticed how someone's attitude shifts from indifference to intense longing when you're not around? They're often left puzzled by their own actions, as if they're caught in a maze of their emotions. Every silent moment seems to whisper your name, compelling them to act in ways that betray their deep longing for you. Suddenly, every little thing they do seems to echo your name, and they find themselves doing the unexpected all because your absence has cast a spell over them. What if I told you all this is not a dream and is well within our reach? Yes, my stoic friends, today we are diving deep into a compelling strategy that's all about the art of strategic withdrawal, stepping back to let others realize just what they're missing. Yes, I am talking about stoicism, a strategy so powerful that it can reshape how they see you, how they value you, and how deeply they miss you. This isn't about playing games, it's about a profound appreciation of your intrinsic worth and allowing that realization to echo loudly in the absence of your presence. As Seneca once wisely said, to make them miss you, you must give them the gift of your absence. This profound statement underlines a powerful strategy in the dance of relationships. Your deliberate absence can magnify their longing for you, compelling them to engage in behaviors that are telltale signs of their missing you deeply. It's not merely about being absent, it's about strategically creating a void where your presence once filled their days and thoughts. When you step away, you provide them with the space to confront and feel the enormity of your absence, sparking a series of actions that betray their innermost feelings of desire and regret. But before we dive in, let's move on to an affirmation that will strengthen your resolve. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and affirm I know my value. Now go ahead and drop it in the comments. This will let me know that you're following along, that I'm not just talking to the wind, but to someone who's truly committed to embracing their worth and making a powerful change in their life. Number one, they reach out more frequently. So folks, let's dive into our first point. They reach out more frequently when they miss you. At first glance, this might seem like a no-brainer, of course. If someone misses you, they're going to want to talk to you more, right? But let's dig a little deeper into what's really happening here. This isn't just about the number of texts or calls they're trying to bridge the emotional distance that your absence has created. When someone starts missing you, it's like their world suddenly feels a little off kilter. Something's missing, and that something is you. They might not even fully realize it at first, but subconsciously they start looking for ways to bring you back into their life. What's the easiest way to do that? By reaching out, of course. But this reaching out is more than just casual communication it's an attempt to rebuild the connection that they're beginning to realize is crucial to their sense of happiness and well-being. Imagine this scenario you've decided to step back a little, maybe give them some space, and suddenly they start to feel the weight of your absence. At first, it might be a fleeting thought, I wonder what they're up to. But as time goes on, that thought grows into a desire and need to hear your voice or see your name pop up on their phone screen. It's not long before they're reaching out more frequently sending you messages throughout the day. These aren't just random texts, they're Lifeline's attempts to re-establish the connection that's been lost. Here's the kicker they might not even realize why they're doing it. They might think they're just being friendly or checking in on you, but in reality, each message, each call, is driven by a deeper longing, a longing for the connection that your presence once provided. Let's break it down a bit further. Think about the quote from Epictetus, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak when someone is missing you, they become more curious about your life. They might start reaching out with the most random topics, did you see that funny cat video or remember that weird dream I told you about? It happened again. These might seem like silly, insignificant messages, but don't be fooled, they're actually subtle attempts to keep the conversation going to keep you engaged, and to keep you thinking about them as much as they're thinking about you. This increase in communication is also a clear sign that they're beginning to understand your value. Before, they might have taken your presence for granted, but now they realize the moments of laughter and connection that now feel like they happened ages ago. They might even hesitate for a moment before sending that next message, wondering if they're coming off as too eager. But the longing to reconnect is stronger than their hesitation, and before they know it, they've hit send. It's not just about wanting to talk to you, it's about needing to feel that connection again to know that you're still there, even if just through a screen. Here's where things get interesting when they start reaching out more, they might not even be fully aware of the changes in their own behavior. 
They might tell themselves that they're just being friendly or keeping in touch, but in reality their actions are driven by something much deeper. Your absence has created a void, and they're doing everything in their power to fill it. This isn't just casual communication, it's a subconscious acknowledgement that they need you in their life, even if they're not ready to admit it out loud. Now let's talk about how this impacts you. When someone starts reaching out more frequently, it's important to recognize what's happening. This is a sign of your value, a clear indication that your presence in their life is something they don't want to lose. It can be tempting to respond immediately to every message, but remember part of what's driving their behavior is the realization that you're not always there at their beck and call. By maintaining a little bit of distance, you're reinforcing the idea that your time and attention are precious something to be cherished, not taken for granted. This is where stoicism comes into play. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By keeping your thoughts focused on your own growth and well-being, you project a sense of confidence and self-assurance that is incredibly attractive. You're not reaching out to them out of a need for validation instead. You're allowing them to come to you, drawn by the strength of your presence even in your absence. Let's put this into perspective with an example. Imagine you've been spending more time on your own hobbies, developing your skills, and focusing on personal growth. You're not ignoring them, but you're also not going out of your way to maintain constant contact. Suddenly, they start texting you more frequently, asking how you've been and wanting to know what you're up to. They might even start showing interest in the things you've been doing on your own, wanting to share in your new experiences. This is a clear sign that they're feeling the impact of your absence and are eager to re-establish the connection. Here's the motivational part when you see someone reaching out more. It's a reminder of your own worth. You're not just someone who fills a space in their life, you're someone whose absence is deeply felt. By stepping back and allowing them to miss you, you're giving them the opportunity to appreciate you for who you are, not just for the role you play in their daily routine. So keep focusing on your own growth, stay strong in your resolve, and know that their increased communication is a testament to the value you bring to their life. In the words of Seneca, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. When they start reaching out more, it's because they've come to realize that they crave your presence, your conversation, and your connection. They're not just missing the old routine, they're missing the unique qualities that you bring into their world. So folks, the next time you notice someone reaching out more frequently, take it as a sign that they're feeling the impact of your absence. You've made a mark on their life, and now they're doing everything they can to bring you back in to bring you back into it. Remember, your value isn't determined by how often you reach out, but by the impact you have when you're not around. Keep that in mind and let them come to you, driven by the realization that you're someone worth missing. Now, before we dive into the next sign, I've got a quick favor to ask if you're finding these insights valuable, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps real life truth grow and reach more people. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below with the words irreplaceable presence to let us know you're committed to becoming someone who's deeply missed. Your support helps us continue to bring you valuable insights into the world of stoicism and relationships. Until next time, stay strong, stay stoic, and remember that sometimes the most powerful way to be remembered is to step back and let your absence do the talking. See you in the next video.